because I'll be filming my first ever Patreon post. <laughs> um, so it's a video, my plan is to make a video about taking on the challenge of walking on gravel. There's um, a few streets in my neighborhood that have um, very like rough gravel and I want to keep practicing in those types of surfaces so that my soles get tougher. So basically in my Patreon video, I show you how I prepare for it. I show you a pre, you know, like I show you how my soles look at the beginning and then um, how they look at the end. Um, I also prepare for it, do some feet warm ups and, um, and then I get onto it and kind of describe my experience. So if you're keen to see that, um, it's on my Patreon page. You can join my Patreon um, for free just to see uh, what I'm up to. Like I'm, I'm going to be posting free posts as well and as well as paid exclusive content. Feel free to go there and check it. No pressure, just if you want. <laughs> I'll keep, I will keep making uh, videos for YouTube, okay? <laughs> so this is my front yard and you can see all this gravel like from old construction <laughs> or something. Uh, it's quite challenging to walk on these, but um, it's kind of fun as well. It's a good practice for going outside. All these beautiful flowers, oh my gosh. Hi friends, so I'm out of the house and I am filming my Patreon video now. Um, I showed my soles at the beginning and I'm taking the challenge and walking on this gravel. And yeah, if you want to see the details and the full video of that, go to my Patreon. I'm putting the link to my Patreon page below. Hi friends, so I'm back from filming my video for Patreon. <laughs> uh, I'll, uh, I'll work on that today and put it all together, see, see what happens. Yeah, I had fun with it. So I am currently working on a new painting. I started it yesterday and I want to show you. So this is it. Um, uh, it's not done yet. I still need to work on the ear tag and well I think that's all I need to do. Oh well the ears need a bit of work as well. Here's Oliver, um, I have him on his leash so he can be out and explore. Um, I was trusting him in letting him you know just be in this area here. But the other night, this little guy jumped on the roof and managed to, like, he jumped up there and then up to the roof and then jumped down to the street. I was so scared. I thought he was going to just, you know, leave and never come back. But I know cats are good with coming back, but I just don't want him to be out there and, you know, like... There's a risk of him getting into fights with other cats or him hunting wildlife uh, like um, endangered 
native birds. I don't know, like, I just don't want him to do that because he has food here and he, he doesn't need to. So, yeah, it's tricky because I want him to be, to experience more freedom, but then at the same time, I don't want him to kill other animals. So it's a tricky one. And I'm, I'm trying to let, leave, leave, let him, like, you know, explore out here, supervised. Or if, um, if, or if he's unsupervised, I put him on the leash and um, he can uh, be out and have a nice time. The leash is quite long, so he can roam around, but I think I need to make it double as long <laughs> as what it is now. Time to paint. Yeah, ready to paint then. signature right here okay painting is done and now I'm gonna hang the laundry because I just washed clothes Out of the rain, so magical, and you know what that means? That means there's gonna be puddles somewhere. I'm gonna go find those puddles if I have time today, if it stops raining later or tomorrow. Oh my God. Okay, friends, it's about to get muddy. Oh dear. It's wet and muddy and a bit cold, but it's nice. Let's go. It's muddy. Gotta be careful. <laughs> 